हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज दिव्या एंड अगेन आई एम विद अ न्यू पर्सन सो ही इज आई एन मसाय तुम लोग इनकी जर्नी के बारे में जानेंगे और ये कहां से सो या फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ या सो हाय एवरीवन माय नेम इज मोहित शरावत एंड आई एम करेंटली इंस्ट्रक्शनल एसोसिएट एट मसाय स्कूल एंड आई एम फ्रॉम न्यू दिल्ली ओके एंड व्हाट वाज योर एजुकेशन बैकग्राउंड सो बेसिकली आई डिड बीटेक इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग and then i was uh, trying to get a job in that industry but i was not able to get because of my college then i uh, switched my career in the marketing sector so i was uh, like working in the marketing sector for past 2 years cool why when and how you joined masai yeah so uh, during that time like uh, due to covid phase then work from home started so during work from home i got some extra time to uh, work on myself so during that time i was researching like what i can extra do in this industry so during that time i was learning digital marketing so in digital marketing we used to uh, do some seo part for the websites so at that time uh, my interest came in the html and all these website sections so then i started researching like how can i become or like can i become a web developer or not because at that time i was thinking that i need to have a degree in that industry to become a software developer but then i researched a lot and i saw some videos on youtube uh, related to masai school that you don't need a degree you just need skills for that so then i uh, applied for that and when i like qualified for that mset test then i quit my job and uh, joined masai and how you find your interest in coding because you know uh, when we are from a different background you said you are from mechanical so that yes. was easy or like how you get interest in coding i know you uh, you are searching for the developing field but still i think you uh, you did something in coding now like how you get interest okay so before joining masai like i don't know about coding even in my 12th i have engineering uh, graphic subject so i uh, don't know even anything about coding so i thought that coding is very difficult so uh, i just joined in in that hope that let's try for one month and let's think that whether i'm uh, comfortable in this thing or not so once i started so i was like i was able to understand the concepts which were taught during that uh, that one month so i thought that i should continue this journey great and also uh, like i was more interested in front end part because uh, because uh, like uh, drawing and sketching uh, is my like hobby so in in front end also like we used to design the things so that also the thing that i, I was interested in that how much stuff this six month journey was uh initial phase was very difficult mm-hmm. for me uh, because i uh, don't have any idea about coding so everything was new for me so i took some time to understand the concepts and uh, like after one or like after two months uh, i'll be com- i was comfortable in all the uh, all this stuff so that time uh, the journey becomes smooth but during uh, this six month journey like i also uh, feel very demotivated many times so that thing was very difficult please and what hurdles you face here in the coding field dsa or the coding process yeah so both the things are going uh, simultaneously so it was difficult for me like when i yeah. spend more time on dsa so my coding and development part was spending and when i uh, spend time on developing thing so my dsa part was spending so managing all these things and time management is the biggest hurdle which i am still facing so yeah mm-hmm. so uh, what is ia and why you join to become ia like how you think you become ia okay so when i was uh, like studying in masai school so ia is like instructional associate who is uh, taking doubt classes and all those things which were uh, covered during the curriculum so uh, like when i saw my ia he was uh, like doing great and he was teaching the students so that thing uh, like really motivates me so i thought that, like i was also interested in teaching from my uh, school time because in my school time and in my college also i was uh, teaching my friends or uh, whatever uh, during the exam times so i was interested in that so i thought that i should try this 
so that's why i joined ia in my side you can say you are a good teacher also cool yeah yes and how like ia is the like uh, ia is a tough ia job is tough or easy for you so uh, like ia job is uh, you can say sometimes it would this it's tough and sometimes it's easy like it depends upon uh, the workload so sometimes uh, we go uh, like some in some days the workload is uh, more so at that time i was not getting enough time for myself so and sometimes i got some free time so i uh, made my projects and all okay what is the process to become a ie in myself so the process is like simple uh, when you complete your unit 4 or unit 5 so you will get the opportunity to become an ie so uh, the forms will roll out and uh, like based on your uh, scores and all of that uh, masai operations team will uh, shortlist some students like who can uh, give interview for them and the interview process is like uh, i i also applied in unit 4 but that time my interview was not went well so i was not selected at that time then i applied again in unit 5 and uh, i prepared much uh, at that time and i was selected so uh, i had a 30 minute uh, coding and ds round like in that i need to uh, explain some java advanced javascript concepts and a uh, few ds questions okay. for being a ie you should be you have to be expert in 100% yeah, so or Less. so the main part of uh, of that interview the main objective is that uh, they are checking your uh, explanation skills so like they are asking uh, like basic things but you should be able to explain in a in a well uh, manner so that's the okay. most important thing okay if someone want to become ia do you tell them like uh, can you suggest them to become ia or like continue the masai journey or take placements uh, it, it like it totally depends upon your interest if you are interested in teaching and uh, if you want to try this field then you can try out uh, mm -hmm. so after becoming ia you will get some benefits like you will get some extra time if you are new in this industry then you will get se oh, seven to nine months extra time so you can spend more time on that you can improve yourself you can improve your linkedin github and you can uh, like create more projects so these things will help you during your placement times okay yeah. at last and we want to if you are, yeah. and like if you are not interested in teaching then you can uh, directly go for the placements what do you want to say to our audience or the students who are studying in the masai yeah so i want to say that just be consistent and or uh, try uh, like try hard because many students are not from coding background including me but i tried uh, like i worked really hard i wake up till uh, 2 to 3 am in the night to just complete my assignments and to work on the uh, constructive projects so you just need to spend your uh, time in coding in these 6 to 7 months and after this your life will become much easier okay that's great so it was all about the ia and mohit so agar aapko kuch like if you are in doubt you can just ping me or comment me below and i will give you a linkedin id of mohit you can just follow him and you can ask any doubt if you want so thank you so much bye bye see you soon bye